Hi, Foothills family. Listen, I just wanna to talk to you briefly about something that's on all of our minds, the COVID-19 virus. So whether you've gone to Costco or Walmart or done an airport run, right? Everybody's thinking about it. We're all talking about it. And we're trying to make sense of what in the world is happening in our world. And I just wanna remind you, before I get into some details of what the implications are for us as a church, that you know God's word tells us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they're safe. And yet the name of the Lord is his character and his name. So like, look, if he is the Lord most high, that means he's ruling over all of this and he is sovereign. And one of his qualities that is described in the scriptures, it says God is love, right? He loves you. He loves everybody on this planet. He knows everything that's going on and he is actively working to draw people to himself. So as you're going through the ups and the downs of your day, remember, that you can run to him and find safety and comfort in the character and the nature of your God. Now, let's get into some specifics here about how this affects us, right? We've got some rapidly changing circumstances here in our state and in our county. Just this morning, Governor Polis asked that all gatherings of more than 250 um, forego meeting. So, um, that means that we have moved our worship service this week from the property to an online environment. So we're gonna be worshiping together at foothillsbiblechurch.org. And on the homepage, you'll get all of your instructions that will show you exactly what to do so that we can be worshiping together. So although we will be socially distant from another, one another, we will not be spiritually distant from God. We will worship God together. We will uh, give together. Um, I'm preparing a special message on hope just for this week and potentially the coming weeks. We're gonna take a break on the Sermon of the Mount series and really just sense that it was time to really just address like how do we react and live with hope right now as everything is going on? Because you know what? Our world needs us to be salt and light and to give hope to people, right? So. Um, we're not living in fear. We're not making decisions in fear. I just want you to know that as the staff gathered today to talk this all through, we're, we're not afraid. We are confident in God. And this decision was made out of love for people. We don't want anyone else to be getting sick unnecessarily. We don't wanna be spreading this around. We wanna be wise and we wanna be shrewd. But we're also gonna serve you by creating more spiritual engagement over the coming weeks. And you can be looking for that. I'm really excited about um, how that's gonna be serving you. And I, I think you're gonna really enjoy a lot of what we're doing together. So just as a reminder, for the remainder of the month of March, we will not have any worship services here on the property, but they will all be online. And I look forward to uh, interacting with you there and uh, worshiping the Lord with you there. All right, God bless.